Life is not safe. Life is full of danger. There are sweet parts and there are terrible parts. The not knowing is what makes it worth living. I will give you the world. You simply have to ask. You want kids? Done. You want to stay here and never work again? Done. <laughs> you want to watch the world burn? Let me guess. You set it on fire? No, darling. I'll hand you the match and stand at your back watching you become the queen of the ashes. <laughs> hey guys welcome to another video how are you guys doing if you're new hey please do not forget to hit that subscribe button and join my family and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back i really really appreciate it so in today's video i'm going to be talking about the books i read in march we're already in april guys we're already in april wow the year is almost over anyway i read 18 books in march but I, I, I read four physical books and six books from the ones I read on my Kindle were novellas initially. My plan was to read more books on Kindle Unlimited so that I could, you know, make use of my subscription before it ends. And I wanted to like post subscription because I have a lot of physical books I want to get to. So I think that was the best choice. Yeah. The first book I read was Ready or Not by Cara Baston. I body read this with my friend, Promise, and I think she gave it a 3 stars or a 3.5 stars. I also gave it a 3.5 stars. It's about Eve and Shep. Then there's Ethan also. So Eve got accidentally pregnant, and so you just see how they fall in love, how things work out with the whole pregnancy. I feel like if I tell you more about it, I'll be spoiling the book. But I really love the realistic presentation of pregnancy in this book because the way they show you the first trimester, second trimester, the third trimester, how you feel, and then all the you know thoughts you go through as someone who is pregnant, I actually really really liked it. But then again. Ethan was so indecisive and I was so angry and then Shep oh my god I don't think anybody exists like Shep because it was just too sweet more like you could push him around that's how I felt the next book I read is love letters to <laughs> a serial killer this was an ARC sent to me by Ned Gali. This book is about a girl that fell in love with a serial killer. This serial killer has been said to kill a lot of ladies in a particular way and then they finally caught him and they put him in prison and she started writing letters to him and then he responded to her letter and then time goes on she started falling in love with him which is weird and then somehow somehow I think he got uh, it got released. I'm not sure because I didn't even get to that part. I DNF'd at 32% because I was trying to understand her mindset. I was trying to understand why she fell in love because there was no reason for her to fall in love, in my own opinion. But then again, I think someone else might actually love the book. The next book I read is Rock, Paper, Scissors by Alice Finney, and this was five star. Oh my god, guys, this book was crazy. It was fast paced, it was twisted, it was wow. That's what I said. <laughs> so, it talks about this couple, and their marriage is already failing. So, they decide to go to a like a house but this house is in the middle of nowhere just to stay, and then some secrets start getting revealed, and then you you'll be like, wow. I never saw this coming. Actually, I didn't see it coming, but yeah, I feel like it's quite difficult to explain thrillers because thrillers, when you give away too much, you virtually spoil the book. So I think you should just read it. It was very, very good. Another thing I liked about it was um, for every year of marriage, there's a representation. Like I think five years was teen, um, two years was like wood, and this couple were giving themselves presents. In representation of that particular symbol you, you know it was actually really, really cool i really enjoyed that part too the next book i read is night shift by annie crown this book was so sweet yes i even like the cover of the book as you see it's pink and beautiful yells so it's about a girl she is an introvert and then the guy is a i think a football star i don't know it's a sports star in their school so they met in the library and things sparked up from them honestly from the beginning i really really liked it i like being in her head i forgot her name i think her name is Kendall, and the guy's name is vincent so uh both of them just you know from different parts of school 
came together and I liked how their love was going. But first of all, it was instant lovey. Second of all, she she and her friends, that's Kendall and her girlfriends, don't like miscommunication trope. But this miscommunication was just happening a lot in the book. And I was like, what is happening? Because I all you have to do is just talk. Stop as you, you know how miscommunication is. So yeah, it had a lot of potential, but the book just fell flat. And also from 70% to the end, oh my god, that's just for for play and smut well i don't even think it's we can call that smut because it was not really smutty but it was just for play something like that yeah i gave it a 2.5 stars the next book i read is tomorrow i become a woman by iwanose odafen this book really really broke my heart so it talks about how women's are women's jesus how women are treated in the past like i think in the 90s and maybe in the 70s how they tell you that oh you're a woman you must do this your husband must come first you cannot voice your opinions if you voice your opinion you're too rude if you this you must girl a girl must be this a girl must be that like there were so much rules that was so annoying and in this present era i i was just so pissed off i was so angry because i wanted to slap senses into some of these people's some of some of these people's what am i saying into some of these characters in the book but there was nothing i could do and the funniest thing is this is how reality was then and funny thing is this is how reality is now also so i uh, anyway i cried I cried in two different places and it was so painful because I feel like these people would have been able to avoid this particular reality for themselves but they chose to just, oh god, god, even to the past where the pastor was preaching, the pastor was preaching and he was manipulating the word and no, 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 no. See, there's something I actually took from this book and it said it had all been a lie, a fallacy, sold to young girls to help them dream sweet dreams at night. To make them bubble with excitement as they journeyed to their husband's homes this was reality this was life it is a cycle honestly it was a cycle because at the end of the day you realize that uh, who do you blame but then again i feel like this book was very 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 similar to um it ends with us in a way but in it ends with us People that surrounded Lily were loving, were caring, and they were open-minded. But in this book, oh my god, the people that were surrounding this girl, these girls were just close-minded, daft, and this is the way we do it. This is how you, this is the tradition. You must do this as a girl, as a woman. This is a, oh god, it was so, I was so angry. And I was, anyway, I gave it five stars. <laughs> I gave it five stars. I read it with my friends, Kenny and Aura. It was, I uh, don't know, no. I ranted a lot. I don't even know how to explain. But seriously, Uju's mother, Uju's mother in this book, I wanted to slap her. I was just shouting, shut the fuck up. Shut up. You this woman, can't you just, can't you just, uh. Yeah. Next book I read is Ooked by Emily McIntyre. Oh my God. You guys. The first book in the Never After series. It was so good. I gave it a four stars. It was about James and Wendy. James is like hook and he has this reaction to clock, tick tock, tick tock. So he doesn't really like that sound. And you understand why he doesn't like that sound. So he's like a bad guy. Not just a bad guy. He's a bad guy. Give me a minute. He wanted to use Wendy as like a trap for wendy's father because it's wendy's father is after but then that starts to realize that he's falling in love with wendy and things pick up from there there were some 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 things that i didn't like with the way he was calling wendy stupid i didn't like it i felt like if you love somebody love somebody please which one is be calling me stupid right also i know it's one thing for you to be in a relationship where you're acting like a pet to your partner it's okay okay it's okay to act like a dog or like a cat it's a fetish thing people like it it's some people's kink it's okay but don't call me a pet don't let it say it and call me a pet like a pet's name was pet and that was so i'm like why would you call her pet i don't like it it and i've seen it i've read like I think three books now or two books now where the pet name is pet and I don't like it. I don't know why. It just turns me off somehow. <laughs> anyway, so I liked how badass the whole thing was. I liked how Wendy in the end 
oh my god that ending was badass but then again i felt like james kind of slacked off a little it was all <clears throat> and then in the end he didn't see some things coming i'm like that's not how it's that's not how it's supposed to go guy you're supposed to be badass to the end it's my initiation actually it's not my initiation but it's like an initiation into dark romance i can't wait to get to more dark romances <laughs> oh, oh i need to read this part to you guys it says I will give you the world. You simply have to ask. You want kids? Done. You want to stay here and never work again? Done. <laughs> you want to watch the world burn? Let me guess. You set it on fire? No, darling. I'll hand you the match and stand at your back, watching you become the queen of the ashes. <laughs> Sorry. I just had to say that. It was so... It's not... Is it cringy, but perfect? I like this. Leave me alone. Just leave me alone at this point. <laughs> oh, wow. This is where things got really, really exciting. I read the whole books in the Improbable Meets Cute. I think this series came out for Valentine's period and all these authors came together and they wrote their own novellas these were the novellas i'm talking so i read the old six novellas i really really enjoyed them honestly they were fast paced and finished them in the day like it was so fast the first one is the exception to the rule i really really like this one by christina lauren oh my god you guys it was so sweet and perfect and it's about callum and tara so this um who's the guy i think callum is the guy yeah because sometimes these names used to confuse me callum mistakenly sent an email to Tara thinking that it was his teacher and he was trying to uh, ask for more time and then he made a grammatical blunder or something like that so Tara uh, corrected him so they started going back and forth for I think six years they were going back and forth like that and you see how their love bloomed and everything and by the time they finally met I was so excited I gave it a 4.5 stars the next one I read worst wingman ever by Abbe Jimenez honestly this was, I think this was my favorite. It was five stars. It was so, so cute. So Holly was taking care of her grandmother and one day she came out of her grandmother's building and she saw a car had an, an envelope and it was a mistake. The envelope was supposed to be on another person's car but John made a mistake and put it in her and the, the content was actually very funny because yes, yes, anyway. So um, that's how they continued communicating with each other by putting this envelope on her car and stuff like that and it, john did something for her that really really was so sweet i really liked it and th their own kind of love didn't even just boom like that like there was a break where she, after her grandmother passed away uh where she didn't communicate with him anymore and all of a sudden they met again and it was so sweet i really liked it I, <laughs> this next one rosie's <laughs> Excuse me, Rosie and the Dream Boat by Sally Thorne. This girl, Rosie, she has a sister named Brie, and she grew up with this kind of mentality where her sister is better than her. She feels like her sister is better than her in every very every aspect of life. So she went on a spa date on Valentine's Day with her sister, and she got stuck inside one of these spa machines, and that's how things started happening with her and Leo because Leo was one of the people, I think, the firemen to bring her out of it, and. Uh, it was actually really funny but i didn't like the way leo says something like um oh i'm sure you're fine and then she's then rosie starts to suggest her sister brie because she feels her sister is better than her and then leo will be like uh, i already saw your sister she left so i don't think she's for me you know that kind of vibe and then she still did it again and she she, she did it like three times i'm like bro why why are you why are you so why are you diminishing yourself like this so much anyway it was Aside that it was actually really sweet, it was um, four stars. Drop cover and hold on. This is about Daisy and Iris Cook. Daisy is a regular girl that likes all these pastries. So she uh, goes to Harris store to buy, but she, there was a misunderstanding somehow, somehow. So she didn't know, she didn't see the signs. Whereas, <laughs> what? Oh my god! Whereas where Aris was just, you know, trying to give her a sign that he loves her, but she was misreading the whole thing. Anyway, it was actually sweet. They got stuck in an hurricane. I think it was a hurricane. And uh that's how they, you know, it happened. I gave it a three stars. It was actually really cute. 
with any luck by Ashley Poston. It's about Audrey and Theo. But honestly, I felt like the story was about Rhett and Camilla more than it's supposed to. Yeah. So Audrey and Theo are the best man and best women for their friends. Their friends are getting married and some things happen. I think they also had a past together. But it was actually really cute. The on, on thing, only one thing I actually like about this particular book is the fact that, um, like, I'm a lady, but my best friend is a guy. So he's my best woman <laughs> or best man. But, you know, he's a guy. You know that kind of vibe. And my f- friend is, that's that's Theo. Theo is the one handling my old bridal shower and everything. It's actually cute. And it was the other way around also for Audrey. So I don't remember much about this book. I gave it three stars also. The last one, Royal Valentine by Saria Wilson. I gave this one a four star. I really, really liked it. So it's, it's giving this princess that doesn't want to be a princess kind of vibe. So she's a princess and she decided to stay back when she traveled. She just wanted to be a regular girl for a day so she could have time with this guy that she saw on the roof. So things actually happened, but it was instant love because she just saw him and she fell in love with him and it was just like that and then there was a twist also i really liked it, it was four stars guys i've already read the serpent and the wings of night with promise it was actually really funny because as you all know i'm a romance girly but i wanted to get into fantasy and i did i really liked the story but it didn't give me that Oh my god feeling that everybody was always shouting on instagram or on facebook or i see facebook on, on tiktok the way everybody's always raving about it but i like the cover of the book Shah. so yeah it's about oraya oraya just reminded me so much of jude because they were both fighting for a place in a place that is not their place you, you understand what i mean they were stubborn and then there's rain and rain is actually very very sweet but at the end there was a twist that i never saw coming and then there's vincent vincent is um oraya's daughter but she's human and is a vampire they are actually vampires so it's actually funny because there was also another twist oh my god there was a little bit of mention where oraya has magic but it was not expanded upon I, I, we don't even understand how it came about and stuff like that so yeah another thing is i really 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 liked vincent and what happened to him actually pissed me off later <sighs> yeah I gave it a 4 stars, but my friend promised she's the fantasy queen and she gave it a 3.5. So that says a lot. It was below expectation, but it was still okay. And the next book I read is The Naturals by Jennifer Limbaran. Honestly, this book was so good. I gave it a 5 stars. It felt so real. It's about these teenagers with special IQ level, like they are higher than higher higher than normal so they are able to notice things that we normal people cannot notice but with the way people have been explaining this i thought they had magic but yeah 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 it's in cassie's pov and cassie's mother was mothered when she was younger so she she joined the naturals they are called the naturals and everything went from there they now start to solve crimes and all that yeah it was actually really good but i'm really really interested in dean's story and i found out what happened to dean then there's also michael and you know i'm a romance girl so i was expecting something romantic to happen but i'm still confused at this point who is she gonna pick between michael or dean i don't even know yes i want to find out the next book i read is the darkest temptation by danielle laurie this is the last book in the maid series and i really really enjoyed it um i enjoyed it i don't know why i'm always like ending my sentence with i really really enjoyed it but Apparently, that's not what I wanted to say, but anyway, yeah. So, this is about Ronan, is a devil, a legit devil, <laughs> and then Mila, the sunshine. So, Mila is the daughter to one of the mafia bosses, and she was kept in the dark. She didn't know about her father's secrets and all those things, so she was being stubborn one day and decided to travel down to Russia to go and, you know, look for her daddy. But she fell into the devil's traps and then you get to see how she was stalkum syndromed <laughs> because ronald kidnapped her to get to her dad 
that's a similar to hooked also but i was skimming a lot of pages because it felt repetitive and too long and i already knew what she was saying because they kept going back and forth with this old oh, mindset oh i love him and then i'm not sure i love him oh i need to escape and mm, then, 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 yeah but in the book two i forgot the title of that book it was a story about gianna and chris Christian and I didn't really like that book too so much but seeing Jana and Christian in this book three was actually really really cool because their own personality was a little different and it was fun and they had a daughter Kat oh my god that girl is crazy that girl is going to be something else when she grows up anyway it was really fun I gave it four stars then the next book I read is Barbarian Surprise this is the fifth book in uh, Ice Planet Barbarian series this is about Tiffany and Salu when the girls were kidnapped uh, and no not kidnapped Kidnapped. kidnapped is not this word when they were abducted from earth so many things happened to them some of them got defiled and stuff like that and it, it was not a pretty experience so tiffany has trauma from that so she has not resonated to anyone yet uh kui has not started singing but saluk had this strong conviction that he knows that Tiffany, because that's how he pronounced her, Tiffany, <laughs> he calls her name in full, is, is, so it just goes through, showing us how patient he was, I really, really like how patient he was, how understanding he was, and stuff like, some funny things happened where, you know, because she and the other girl are the only two unmated people left, uh, so it, the attention was on them by all the single uh, males, and yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's something I'd like to read to you guys from this book that I really liked. It says, Life is not safe. Life is full of danger. There are sweet parts and there are terrible parts. The not knowing is what makes it worth living. Yeah. Yeah. I can't wait to actually see Josie and Hayden's story because these ones, they hate each other. It's funny. It's funny, okay? Yeah. I gave it a four stars. I really enjoyed this story, actually. The next book I read is If You Had Been With Me by Laura Nolan. Honestly, mm -hmm. I, I said honestly, yeah, I think I say honestly like a lot. So this book is about Finn and Autumn. These two of them grew up together and it's like friends to strangers, to lovers, to strangers, something like that. But this broke my heart. So when I started it, I didn't really like how it was like, um, just tell him you are in love with him already and you to tell how you are in love with her already. But as a teenager, you cannot really tell your crush because you are scared that what if things and they grew apart basically they grew apart so i was already getting tired of the oh oh i love him so much but i cannot tell him i don't think i love him you know and they grew they grew in different groups he went to join the popular kids and she went to join the awkward kids but not awkward like weird they're just different so yeah you start to see everything honestly something happened in this book that just shocked me i used the audiobook while reading alongside because i was getting tired of the whole back and forth back and forth and i wanted to just move ahead and see why people are crying and i really really saw why people were crying but i didn't really cry cry it was the next day when i was thinking about the book again that i, I now actually cried but while i was reading I, I was so shocked if you've read a little life i think you understand what i'm talking about yeah this book was sad, man. I gave it a 4.5 stars. The last book I read, Minx. My camera is dying already. Again, oh. The amount of smut in this book. It even passed Ice Planet Barbarians. I'm not gonna lie. This smut was crazy. And then there was some art, like uh, fan artworks in the book. They're so cute, actually. Cute and naughty also. Because, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, uh, it's about Ramses and Blake. Blake is an escort and Ramses is a rich freaking, freaking rich dude. Like, he was, he's so rich. So, she's trying to, you know, get her own money and he, he likes her so much. It was so funny because... <laughs> There were some things that happened that were so crazy, but I didn't like the way um, Ramses was acting in front of Desmond. Desmond is uh, Blake's ex-boyfriend and there was something that he did that was not necessary but i like the comeback the way everything was mm -mm. anyway both of them are strong characters i really like that but then again the smart was so much oh guys it was so much i it's not like i didn't like it but i kept skimming because i i got tired of it because like every every chapter or something where they meet they 
do the do and uh, so if that's something you're interested in, i think it would be really nice but i don't know i also started skimming so many parts too because i, I got tired of the book honestly the yeah i don't know how to explain but i love briggs and sadi briggs is ramsey's friend and sadi is like a sister to blake and when they linked up it was so funny and i can't wait to read their story that's if it exists anyway that's all for today i hope you guys enjoyed it my camera kept on overeating on me i need a new camera at this point oh see what i say once you're ready go hey guys <laughs> thank you so much for coming uh what <laughs> so um i read 18 books last year oh shit no no but the backstone baston i don't know how to explain because i've read this book since chai okay. i was i was no say so this girl leo uh, no the girl is the boy is leo the girl leo oh god the girl rosie i, I feel like i didn't even explain this book well <laughs>